Hey, Ian Marsh here, CEO of Street Smart Marketing Group, and I want to welcome you to the first transformation training of the Street Smart Business Success Club. Now what is this about? It's a very good question and I'm really keen to see the results that what I've just put together is going to achieve. What this is, is it's a series of trainings that I'm going to be doing every two months and this is the first one of them where I'm going to be teaching you the methodologies, the systems, the processes that any business owner that's serious about getting results in their company needs to put into their company. It is going to be a step-by-step -step process. They're going to be short, punchy, many of them might only be 20 or 30 minutes long. But the thing is, how many times have you heard information that you know would be beneficial to you, to your business, to your life, and yet you haven't put it in place? You see, the reason why that generally happens is there's a sense of overwhelm. There's a sense of there's too much to do and not enough time to do it. And what I wanna do with this first transformation training is stop that because there's not too much to do and not enough time to do it. Everyone on the planet has been given the equal amount of minutes in the day and what I'm going to be showing you is how you can transform your time in ways that you never thought possible and actually gain complete control of your life. That's very important and without the lesson that I'm about to share with you now I don't believe anyone can achieve the true goals that they want to achieve in their life. So please listen intently. This is my process that I've gone through personally and I, I can assure you with every essence of my being that if you follow the advice and the exercises that I give you, you'll have more success, you'll achieve more results in whatever endeavor you want to put your heart and soul into. Now, why could I help you do that? And this is a very important question and I'm glad you asked me to ask you this. Well, the reason is 15 years ago, I literally was penniless and I'm going to share my story with you towards the end of this training, uh, just so you can get some context to the content and realize the power of what I'm teaching you. But in the last, really in the last 14 years, I've generated well over $60 million. Now, that's a reasonable result. I've also built five multi-million dollar companies, each and every one of them blowing away the business statistics that exist out there. Uh, on top of that, I've helped so many individuals achieve financial and more importantly, lifestyle freedom that uh, I'm very proud of that and that's why I'm always happy. And if I can make that impact with you, it's going to mean so much to me. So guys, with that in mind, hopefully I've got enough credibility to be able to tell you my processes and my story. What I'm going to do is give you some simple exercises and processes to go through so that you can really fast track yourself and put yourself into the speed wealth zone. So the first exercise I'm going to be talking about is really the most important. Now how many of you have heard of a gentleman called Napoleon Hill? Well I really didn't know about him until around 15 years ago uh, when I read Think and Grow Rich and the key thought, the key impact that he had on my life was this phrase where he said, what the mind can conceive and believe, it can achieve. Now, please, I need you to take notice of this. Many of you probably have heard this before, but hearing it and doing it are two different things. You must believe with your whole essence that you deserve the things that you get in life. Otherwise, you never will have them. So I've got an exercise, it's the exercise that I went through many, many years ago. It's an exercise that uh, I want you to take the time to do now, okay? So I'm hoping when you're watching this, if you're in the middle of things and you've got lots of distractions happening right now, and you've got uh, the phones ringing and your secretary saying, what do I do about this? Or you've got your staff out there saying, uh, I need a decision. Well, please stop this DVD right now. Wait till you get quiet time so you can really focus. I won't take a lot of your time, but around about 30 to 40 minutes is what you will need here. And really put everything you can into listening and applying everything that I'm saying. So, when was the last time you took time out to think about the things that you really want in your life? What I want you to do with this first exercise 
And this is all about you gaining complete control of your life. The first thing that I want you to do is actually stop working. I want you to jump out of the rat race, even if it's only for one day, but I prefer you to go away for the weekend, quite honestly. And if you and your partner are involved in the business together, then both of you should be going away. But you don't take a phone. You don't take a TV. You don't have any distractions with you. When I do this, I actually go on my own. My wife doesn't know where I am. No one knows where I am. And I go into lockdown and I think about what I really want to achieve. I think about my life and where it wants to go. So I want you to do this exercise. I want you to go away, at least for a day, with no distractions where you can actually just get time to think and work out what it is that you really want in your life. It doesn't matter what situation you're currently in, uh, the good, the bad, or the really ugly. Um, what I want you to be able to do is get that clarity and say, okay, well, this is my life. It's not anyone else's life. I don't have to make anyone else happy. It's I want to make myself happy and I want to know what I want to achieve before I kick the bucket. So go away, take time out and start thinking, start planning your life. What is it that you really want to take out of your life? Because the clock's ticking. Trust me, these jelly beans are disappearing out of your bowl of life and each one that comes out each day means you've got a day less on the planet. So it's time to start getting serious about really getting what you want. Okay, is it a legacy that you want to leave behind perhaps? Uh, you might want to uh, leave a, uh, a, a charity, create a charity or a foundation, okay? You might want to leave something to your children, a home, a, a, a home or an estate, anything like that. Uh, maybe you want that fancy car for yourself where, um, you know, you get to cruise around and feel that you've made it because you're, you know, cruising in a BMW or a Mercedes or whatever it is. Perhaps you just want to have a beautiful home, okay? Whatever it is, uh, you need to work out what it is you want. Please, for one second, do not think that you can't have it. You can have anything you want in this life, but remember the word I said earlier that was very important? You've got to believe you deserve it, okay? When you believe that you can achieve these things, nothing's going to stop you. You can have them. The only one that will stop you is you. Bottom line is, work out what it is you want for your life. Okay, now stop the DVD here and do this exercise. And what I mean by that is go away, put it in your calendar, when are you going to go away and really start thinking about what you want out of life? Okay, so what is it you really want out of life? It's a very deep question, isn't it? So I want you to go away and start thinking about it. Uh, is it a legacy that you want to leave behind? Maybe you want to have a beautiful home you can leave to your children, okay? Uh, maybe it's a beautiful car, okay? So let's just say, for the sake of this exercise, that you want a beautiful car, and it's a BM, and it's going to cost you, it's a 7 Series, it's going to cost you around $200,000 for the BM 7 Series. Well, go to the dealer, find out exactly how much it'll cost, find out the repayments on the car, and write it down. Uh, take the car for a test drive. Get as many photos as you can about the car. I'm being serious about this. This isn't waffle. Now, if you want a beautiful home, go to those open homes. Imagine that you can buy them. Get all the details of the real estate agents off the real estate agents and work out the pricing and what the repayments would be and how much you would need to earn to be able to have that perfect home that you want. And don't settle, I'm saying get that perfect place. Really think, what is the perfect home that you want to have? Why shouldn't you have the home you want? Other people do, don't they? I do. Why shouldn't you? So where are you going to go? How much is it going to cost? Because you're then getting serious and you're starting to say to your subconscious mind, enough mucking around, this is the life I want. Added to this, you also need to know what your operational life is like. So what time do you want to get out of bed? How many hours do you want to work at work? How, many, how much stress do you want to have in the business? Do you want to work three or four days a week or are you happy working 12 hour days? I know Jerry Harvey works 12 hour days. He's proud of it. He says to me, Ian, if I slow down, if I start taking it easy, instead of me uh, having the body and the mind of a 40 year old, which is what I have, I'd immediately revert to my 72 year old age and I'm not going to do that. Because I was wondering why he kept working, you know, so many days every week and putting in 12 hour days. Well, that's the reason. So what do you want out of your life? Okay, 
Get absolute clarity and start designing it. That's the key, this is what I'm talking about. And once you design it, I want you to then reverse engineer it. You've got to work out how much income you will need to have this sort of life, okay? But the first thing is work out what you want. I hope that's clear. Now stay with me, this is not waffle guys, I want you to get to the end of this because this is how I transformed my life and once I understood it and believed it, more money came to me in the fastest time you could imagine than I ever thought possible. So get this, believe you can have these things and then what we're going to do is reverse engineer how you're going to have them. So let's just say that uh, you've taken my examples as the life that you want to have. The beautiful car, the beautiful home, the beautiful holidays, the beautiful wives, whatever you want to have, that's your life. And let's say that you need, for example, $300,000 a year to achieve this. Okay, does that make sense? So you've gone and you've got the repayments for the house. You've gone and you've got the repayments for the BM. And you've gone and you've got the, how much it's going to cost for your holidays. You say, right, well, with all that being fair and equal, this is the income I need to have to be able to pay for it. So, if you need $300,000, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it, but you've got a little bit more work to do first. So you've got to decide whether you are a lion or whether you're a pussycat. And the reason I say that is because you're going to have to make some pretty tough decisions. If you really want this life that you've just laid out, that you've decided for yourself, do you think it's just going to fall in your lap? Do you think it's going to be like that movie The Secret where you sit under some almond tree and you just imagine that these things will come to you and miraculously they will appear? Well, I have to tell you, that's not quite right. They haven't been quite truthful with you in that video. So, to achieve those goals, you've got to make some very, very hard decisions sometimes. And that means you've got to decide to be a lion, ladies and gentlemen. Or you might as well turn this DVD off now and say, you know what, I don't have the ticket to get the things that I want because I just don't deserve them. All right? Every time any successful pe person uh, went out of their, uh, went out in their life to achieve their dream, believe me, they lived on the edge. They had the stresses that, uh, stresses just like you and I have. Because when you live within your comfort level, when you're cruising along and life's good, you've got a certain amount of income coming in, you don't grow, you don't expand, you can't get ahead. You have to push the boundaries continuously. That means living on the edge. And the same things have applied to me. I've had to put myself out there so many times to get out of my comfort zone and do things and uh, risk things to get the things that I wanted. So I think you're, you're realizing something here now. This is not uh, some, uh, I guess, fairy floss covered piece of information where I'm gonna say, oh, everything will be all right and this is your magic Viagra pill that if you swallow, you'll be a millionaire tomorrow. No, that's bullshit. So go and book your weekend away, go and work out what you want out of life, and then get over all of the BS that's been built up over your life. If you've got to go and see a counsellor, go and see them. Okay, if you've got to go and read so many books on self-belief, go and read them. I did, okay, because you have to jackhammer away all the carbonised crap that's been built over probably the last 30 or 40 years of your life and give yourself new success thought processes in your head. Let's talk about exercise too. Simplify your life. What I'm going to say is stop working so hard. Stop doing so much. See in your life you've got things that are either enabling your life or inhibiting your life. What I want you to do right now, and this is the second exercise, is I want you to say to yourself, okay, well, um, what are the things that make my life better and what are the things that hold me back? I want you to write down two lists, okay, and think about this. Think about the things that are inhibiting you, okay? Are you picking up the telephone? Are you having gas bags for an hour with people talking about nothing? Well, stop it, okay? Do you get exhausted or maybe get very stressed and overwhelmed with what's going on at work that you retreat to the lounge room and watch TV for three hours just to hide from the world? Or maybe you even go to bed and sleep a long amount of hours because while you're asleep the world can't hurt you and but you're hiding from any of the challenges that are out there. Guys, stop these things, okay? Only hang around people that are going to lift you up in life, okay? Um, just really eliminate all of these things. This is the list of inhibitors that are perhaps stopping you getting where you want to go to in life. Uh, honest truth here, 
uh, my wife uh, and I, uh, in our early days when I was starting to learn this knowledge and apply these principles, we had quite a number of arguments. And they were because I kept investing a lot of money in myself and in my knowledge to gain the information I knew I needed to improve myself and get myself ahead. Now at the time, my wife could not fathom why I needed to be spending $977 a month at the time on some bald-headed guru called Mal Emery. He was my first mentor that started to expose this world to me. And I'd say, but honey, this guy knows what he's talking about. And she goes, well, that's Cod's wallet. You know, you've been, well, she doesn't use that word. Uh, that's my word, but uh, she used something a bit more heavier, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, she said, we should be using that 977 and put it towards a deposit on a house or this or that. I said, no, Jen, I love you with all my heart, but I must do this. And uh, so I stayed with Mal's Platinum program and I studied him very closely and I've applied a lot of the principles that he's taught. Uh, every cent that I've invested in myself has come back to me more than 15 times. So your mission here for this exercise to be complete is for you to write down those two lists, the things that are inhibiting you and the things that are enabling you. And what should you do with the things that are inhibiting you guys? Get rid of them. Develop your action plan and say, right, this is how I'm going to say goodbye to this person and not see them again. This is how I'm going to stop watching all those hours of mindless TV. Uh, this is how I'm going to spend at least an hour at the gym a day. Uh, this is how I'm going to be able to study for an hour a day. So they're your plans, your enabling plans. Okay. Oh, this may be sounding like common sense, guys, but have you done it? Have you actually done it? Have you analysed your life? Look at the last week, when you spent the last week out there doing whatever you're doing. Okay. How much time have you spent in creating the things that have the most impact in your life? And how much time have you spent uh, being caught up in stuff? Well, the inhibitors are the stuff, all right? So do this exercise, it's gonna have a massive impact on your life. Have a question for you. Why do racing, top racehorses have blinkers on them? Well, it's so they can stay focused on the finishing line, ladies and gentlemen. So you've got to be able to know what you're after and then not be distracted by other uh, people refer to them or we refer to them as shiny objects where you think the grass is greener on the other side of the fence. The grass is not greener on the other side of the fence. I'm one of the few people that have made millions upon millions of dollars online. Uh, there are many people that say they're great online experts but there's very few people that have literally made millions of dollars online. Uh, why am I talking about being successful online uh, when a minute ago I was saying about shiny objects? Well, here's the thing. See, many people can be very successful online, but you know how many people really are? Lucky to be 10%. And the reason they're not successful is because they keep looking for the next shiny object instead of saying, you know what, I've worked out my plan, I've worked out my strategy, it makes sense, I've seen the proof, I've done all the research on it, so now I'm going to keep working this plan and working it and working it and working it until I get to the finishing line. Perfect example is a blog. They'll start a blog and start getting a little bit of momentum. Might be two followers and four followers and six followers. And they look at it over uh, two months and they go, I've only got six followers. And what do they do? They give up. And yet there's other people that start the blog that start off with two, four, six but then they might go to 12 and then 20 and then 100 and then 500, then 1,000, then 10,000, then 20,000, then 100,000. And next thing you know, you've got these YouTube uh, gurus out there that have got millions and millions of followers out there. Uh, and uh, the reason why is because they were persistent and they kept focusing on what they wanted. And that's what I'm saying to you is have blinkers on. Now that you know what your goals are, now that you know what you want to achieve, only do the things that are going to take you forward towards those goals. So that's why horses have blinkers on. So what one thing, what one thing will have the most impact on your life? Remember I said I'm gonna, I want you to simplify your life and make it a lot, um, a, a lot cleaner, so do less of things. So follow me here. What one thing will have the most impact on your life when it comes to, for example, business? So right now, let's just look at your business goals. Look at everything that's happening in your business. What one thing would have the most impact on your business? Is it profitability? Okay. Is it more leads coming into your business? 
Is it better conversion rates coming into business? Because your conversions might stink. See, many people when they come to me and they ask for help for me to make them successful in the business, they think they just want more leads coming into their company. But when I have a look at it, their customer support is crazy, they've got no systems there, they're hardly making a profit on what they're doing. And if I've got a ton more leads coming into their company, they quickly go bankrupt. So many times I have to show them what's necessary. So for your business, what is the one thing that would have the most impact on your business out of everything right now? Is it lead generation? Is it conversion? Is it having the very best team around you, the very best staff? Whatever it is, write it down because that's one of your major definite purposes in life, to have that thing. Maybe it is, right, I've looked at my whole business and you know what? I need to develop a better team around me. Well, that's your one major definite purpose, not everything else. And all we want you to do is focus on that. Have the blinkers on, go to Horseland, buy a set of blinkers to remind yourself that, you know what, in my business, everything else doesn't matter until I have the very best team around me, if that is your number one thing. Let's look at something else. Let's look at your health. So with your health, where are you letting yourself down the most? What is one thing that will have the most impact on you with your health? Maybe if you just ate healthier, maybe if you just cut out the Coca-Cola and drank more water and just walked more. Maybe that's the one thing you needed to do. Maybe it's um, walking every day. I don't know. But what's one thing that could have the most impact on your health? Ladies and gentlemen, health is so critical. If you've got poor health, and many business owners suffer massive stresses running their companies, and I see their health deteriorate so badly, you must look after your health. What about your family life? Okay, so what's one thing that'll have the most impact in your family that you can apply religiously and make sure that you perfect it? Maybe it's making sure that you have dinner with your family every night around the dinner table and you get to have a conversation instead of, and no electronics to be in sight anywhere. All right, so no screen ages allowed. Maybe it's you just doing homework with your daughter for an hour at night. Okay, so that's when you've got this exercise nailed. So you document it, you say, these are my goals, this is what I'm going to do, and nothing else. So now we move on to exercise four. This is making the money. I told you I'd get back to this. Remember when I said, okay, you're going to have this wonderful life, you need $300,000, you don't know how to make the $300,000 for yourself. Well, here's how you do it. It's called reverse engineering, okay? So, what the first thing is that you have to do is determine whether you have a jalopy for a business or whether you have a racing car. Now, if you have a jalopy, and what I mean by jalopy is it doesn't matter how hard you work in that business, if you, it doesn't matter how optimised you make that business, that business has a maximum potential of maybe making you one or $200,000 a year turnover, or maybe 300000 a year. Well, if that's the case, then perhaps you need to think differently. Uh, and you need to take that jalopy to the junkyard and get another vehicle. I will only sit in a racing car. Why? Because I want to get to my destination as fast as I can. So have a look at your business and you just need to apply this simple formula to your business. So, what are the maths of your business? Okay, so is there very good margin in what you're selling? Is there good profit in each product? What is the psychology of your business? So what I mean by that is there a hungry crowd there that want what you have to offer them as a solution? And what's the lifestyle like? So do you have to be open seven days a week and be at everybody's beck and call and really have them rule your life and take on a lot of, of their pressures? You know? So they're the three things that I urge you to look at in any business environment. And if the answer is, well, I'm in a jalopy, not a racing car, then you need to do something about it. Once again, this is you being a lion and taking a lion's decision to say, well, you know, this business is not right for me. I'm going to find a better vehicle to go into. Don't get that emotionally attached to your business. And the other thing you need to take into account is are you in a sunrise business or a sunset business? For example, uh, video, okay, VHS. Would you want to be renting out DVDs right now in a video shop? I don't think so. Uh, Blockbuster uh, has bit the dust and I'm sure the others are not that far away. So let's just say your goal is $300,000, okay? You want to work out how to do it. 
So I'm gonna use a simple example here. I'm gonna say that you sell a product, I won't mention what the product is. Uh, well, I'll just use air conditioning, that was my field. So let's just say that I sold air conditioning systems and they were $25,000 for an air conditioning system. And let's just say for the sake of this example that uh, with that air conditioning system, I'd make $5,000 net from that air conditioning system. All right. So if I made $5,000 net from that air conditioning system, the goal is $300,000. I make $5,000 per sale. Um, how many sales do I need to achieve what I need to achieve? Well, the answer is divide 300,000 by 5,000, you get 60 sales a year, all right? Bang, there's your goal. I, if I get 60 sales a year in air conditioning, I'm going to have the lifestyle that I want. Makes sense? Sounds pretty simple. Might also sound a bit scary. Let's go one deeper. How many leaves do I need to get a sale? Well, I need three leaves, okay. Well, how many um, sales will I, uh, how many leads will I need then? Well, if you want 60 sales, you need three leads to get 60 sales. That's three times 60, which is 180 leads a year. Now that might sound a bit scary, but let's just break it down a bit further. So how many leads is that a week? Well, let's just say that you work 48 weeks a year, not 52. So if you need 180 leads divided by 48 weeks, that means you need 3.75 leads a week. Do you think it's possible for you to generate four leads a week into your business so that you can then have the lifestyle that you want, the holiday that you want, the house that you want, the car that you want, the school that you want? Well, the answer is obviously yes. And this is nearly the process that I went through with my maths in my first air conditioning company to get the life that I wanted. So you just reverse engineer it and break it down. So when you break it down, it's, uh, instead of thinking, oh my God, how do I get $300,000 a year for myself? You break it down and say, well, if I know I can get one, four leads a week, pretty well one lead a day, I'm home and hose. So here's some soul searching questions for you guys. Just think about this. From what we've talked about, have you now worked out a clear picture of what you want? Do you believe that you can have it? Uh, have you determined what's inhibiting your life and what's enabling your life? Have you determined the top five things that are you going to focus on that will have the most impact on your life? Have you determined if your vehicle is a jalopy or if it's a racing car? Have you reverse engineered your goals and developed your action plan so that you can really achieve your goals? Does this work? Well, I'm just going to give you a very short rundown on how I've applied this principle to my life and the impact that it's had, okay? So, uh, essentially, uh, I left home at 14 years old. Why am I telling you I left home at 14 years old? Is it a good sob story? No, I just want you to realize how powerful this process is when you apply it in your business. Now, if I can leave home at 14 years of age from parents that have married seven times and I get straight C grade in school, so I, I told you I'm not an Einstein, and I've been told can't by everyone, close family, friends, never my parents, my mum and dad, they always believe in me. Um, but everyone else said, you can't do that, you can't do that. Um, when I leave home, I literally have no money. Right up pretty well until the age of uh, roughly 35, I guess. Literally didn't have much to my name. Um, that was the house that I was living in, and no, not the first house, it's that little chook shed that you see beside you. I lived there with two other people, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, that was my vehicle I was driving around in pretending to be an electrical contractor. Uh, it only literally ran on two cylinders. I got pulled over by the police more times than I can remember. They did take pity on me, they never booked me, believe it or not, but I had oil pouring out of that motor. I had to constantly top it up every day. Uh, the two things that happened to me, that really set me on the path that I've just revealed to you was me meeting this bald-headed gentleman, his name's Mal Emery. He opened up a whole new world, a whole new reality to me and he started teaching me the power of marketing. And then I went on to start learning about leadership and business and sales and all these other areas that there are. And on top of that, even a more powerful impact was when I met this beautiful woman here. Now, this is Jenny, she's my wife and I love her with all my heart. Um, and when I met her and we went out on a date, I knew after 35 years that I finally found the woman that I wanted to marry and I would not let anything stand in the way. So, I did the whole process that I've just explained to you. I did it step by step, left nothing out. 
I uh, decided the car that we would want, the house that we would want. I decided what life we would have. And this is here um, a, a decision where you've got to decide, well, do you want your old life by being a pussycat? Or do you want the new life by being a lion? And I've got to tell you guys, the decisions I made scared the hilling, hell out of me. They scared the crap out of me. Sometimes I made choices I didn't even have the money to make the choices for. Uh, this is, I think you'll find this is a common theme with many entrepreneurs, but the reality is you've got to be a lion in life, okay? Otherwise, you'll just get what a pussycat gets, and that's the remnants, and I don't want that for you. So now I just want to show you beyond a shadow of a doubt why I'm so passionate about teaching these principles to you. So I said, honey, I promise you by uh, 30th of June 2015, you're going to have your dream home and you'll be able to nest and buy your furniture and do your curtains and all your horsey things, everything you want to do. All right, that's the deal. So what sort of house are we going to have, hun? What do you want to have? Um, and that's when we sat down and we started mapping it out. So. It just occurred to me date-wise, you see, as I'm recording this, on the 11th of May, we will be settling on a home. So have a look now at what that vision turned into, literally, as you're probably watching this now. Ladies and gentlemen, that's the end of our first training, Take Control. I urge you, please apply these principles. I'm going to have someone ring you in 30 days and just see the progress that you've applied because we do care, we want to see you act on these things that we share with you so you can achieve the real success that you want in your life. All right, now any questions or any help, just ring us at the office, uh, 08 9201 uh, and I'll look forward to hearing your success. Bye for now.